Hey guys, my name is Jojo with HowStuffMyCarWorks.com and today I will be showing you how to repair and diagnose a rear axle noise. On this particular Dodge Ram, we have it when we're coasting, you'll hear the noise, but some cars will have it when they're accelerating or coasting, it just depends on the car. Whether you're accelerating or coasting, the problem will be caused by the same thing, so stay tuned and we'll show you how to fix it. Just like JoJo said, we're going to be looking for the cause of the noise on this 95 Dodge pickup. As you can tell, we lifted the rear end and set it on two jack stands. To hear the noise, I'm going to start it, put it in gear, and you can hear what the noise sounds like. That's what the noise is. The faster you drive, the louder it gets. These Dodge Ram trucks are notorious for their pinion bearings going bad. But we're going to go ahead and take the cover off and take it all apart so we can see what we find. So more likely it's going to be either one or both of the pinion bearings. So let's take a look. We see a clean pan under the differential. Remove the bolts and remove the differential cover. There's slight wear on the ring and pinion, on the teeth of the ring and pinion. Uh, same thing on the same thing on the spider gears. There's some wear. Definitely not enough to cause that problem that we're having. Sometimes when there is too much clearance on the teeth in between the ring and the pinion, it can cause your differential to whine. Just like a manual transmission when you put it on reverse and it's a very low gear, you can hear that whining. Uh, it would be the same scenario. But this truck, uh, the wear is, is not enough to uh, create that kind of a problem. So we're going to have to take it apart. Next, remove both brake drums. Next, for the next step, place your transmission in neutral and turn your drive line until you can see the bolt right here. Place it in the middle so you can remove the bolt that holds the pin. The size is 5 16 Once it's loose, finish removing it by hand. Place it in a clean container. Next step, push the pin out. It's 
remove it. And what you're going to do now, in here, these are C clips right here. These right here. Okay. So to remove them, you got to push the uh, axle in. I'm going to use my foot to push it in. See that? I'm going to push it back. So look at that, how it comes out. Okay. By pushing the axle in. So now you can go ahead and remove the C clip. These C clips right here is what holds your axles in place. Yeah, it may seem kind of scary. <laughs> this is this is it. This is the only thing that keeps your axle from falling out and running down the road. If you didn't know that, then now you do. Once the clip is removed, then you'll be able to pull the axle out. You see how it moves out, but we'll do it from the outside. So I'm going to push it back in, and then do the same thing on the other side. Remove the other C clip. Once the C-clips are removed, remove the axle by pulling it out. Be careful not to damage the seals right here uh, when you pull them out. We're going to go ahead and install new seals, so that's why I just pulled it out without being like mega careful. If you're not planning to install new seals, when you pull that axle out, be very careful. And then set it up right, like that keeps it from falling. Remove the other axle on the other side, same same way. This is where we end part one of this video. On part two we're going to show you how to finish removing the differential carrier and ring and pinion obviously. And then we're going to inspect those bearings and see how they look. And if they look as bad as I think they will, we're going to show you how to solve it. Stay tuned for the next video.